and welcome to this new video in which I'm going to show you the result of an experimentation that I'm doing since some day uh, because I managed to put my hands on a STM32 Nucleo uh, H723 which is a relatively a new uh, board and new MCU which is really a, a little beast in the sense that it's very very powerful uh, in terms of uh, speed of clock and also in terms of quantity and quality of peripheral that it makes uh, available. Uh, but before to start, uh, I would like as usual to ask you to subscribe uh, to the channel, um, uh, to give a thumbs up to the video if you like it and to hit the bell. These are small action on your side, but very important for me because it will give me the possibility to keep on uh, producing and posting uh, this kind of content. So, uh, STM32H723, uh, uh, it's a, a microcontroller based on Cortex-M7, uh, you can see it here. Um, it is clocking at 550 megahertz, just to give you uh, a reference, the uh, Atmel, uh, microchip Atmel E70 that I'm using to build up my custom board, see the videos, uh, the previous videos in the channel, is clocking at 300 megahertz. So it means that this H723 is running substantially twice uh, respect to the uh, E70. Uh, but apart from this, as I was saying, what I find very interesting is the, the peripheral that it provides, and in particular UR peripheral, because uh, differently from any other microcontroller that I found until now on the market, uh, this H723 provides 10 user UART. Uh, if you have followed the channel previously, you know that I had a problem, which is that I have connected all my channel here uh, um, via UART. Uh, and the uh, microchip Atmel platform, the SAM platform, basically in any some uh, microcontroller, uh, it provides maximum eight UART user channel. Uh, and where I need, I'm still in need to add here the, um, the master, which will be another uh, channel uh, in UART. And I was in need also to add the uh, display that you are seeing, which is uh, a next on display based on UART. So for a total of 10 UART, and you know, uh, uh, luckily enough, uh, this H723 provides exactly 10 UART. You will see in a moment that everything works perfectly, but much more than this, everything works amazingly. Not only because uh, uh, all the data, which are really a lot of data, uh, you will see in a moment that are flowing uh, are correctly managed by the MCU and dispatched to the channel and to the uh, display uh, via the MCU, but because everything, really everything, is perfectly uh, 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 in sync, which is a very important indicator saying that everything is working really fine. Um, I had also a very good uh, development experience, I have to say, uh, with this uh, H723, uh, the ST microcontroller platform is, is based on a, a Cube IDE, as IDE uh, which is based on Eclipse, which is very nice and good to work. Uh, the framework provided by development framework provided by uh, ST uh, is uh, called HAL. It's really uh, simple, intuitive, easy to use and reliable and stable uh, uh, um, as far as I uh, experienced it. Uh, so it was really a pleasure to make this experimentation. I, I knew already this platform because I did already things on this platform, but uh, this time I really went through uh, uh, a little bit more and I, I have to say that it was really pleasant. So let's run uh, the demo. So let's start. As you can see, everything is working and what I kindly ask you to pay attention is on the mute buttons. You will see that they are perfectly in sync uh, here on the surface and here in Cubase. And the other thing that I think is interesting to notice is the counter, as I was telling you. 
As you can see, it's running very fast. It means that a lot of data are coming in this moment to update uh, the counter and that everything is perfectly instant. If I stop here, for instance, you can see that we have four mute channels here in Cubase uh, from uh, uh, track number one to track number four and that is in uh, in the surface and you can see that the counter is one three one one in Cubase and one three one one is in the uh, display. Uh, if I change of course the name of a track like this as you can see the, the track change the name immediately there you go uh, and again if I let me take out the reading function if I move the pump pot on track 5 you see that it's immediately updated and put perfectly in sync R16 and R16 is uh, in uh, in uh, in Cubase uh, so as I was saying it works it works fine it works perfectly and perfectly in sync other thing that i want to show you is the as you, as you can see if i uh, uh, select all the tracks immediately the selection is highlighted on the surface and if i leave it like this everything is moved like this what i can tell you is that in this movement a lot in this action a lot of data are flowing uh, 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 and that's again uh, the reaction and, and the, the way the things is working is simply perfect. The only trick that I used is that some uh, critical function, in particular the callbacks for USB, uh, I have moved it into the so-called ITCM. So instruction title coupling memory, which is a part of the memory of the MCU, which is very close to the MPU. Uh, and so it have a very uh, efficient and effective communication with the microprocessor. Uh, final thing is uh, uh, what I'm gonna do uh, in the future. Uh, for sure, I will develop a prototype with this platform, with the H723, because it's really too nice, too, too good uh, to ignore it. Uh, but unfortunately, there is a drawback. There is an issue uh, with this uh, 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 microcontroller. I don't know if it's because it's uh, uh, quite recent or it's just for some reason the, the, the chip shortage is eating uh, harder in this direction, but it, it is substantially impossible to find uh, this microchip on the market. Um, I've looked around a lot for the uh, 100 leads package, but I didn't find it at all. Uh, finally, I, have, I might have found uh, 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 the possibility to have some 144, the one that you see in the nuclear board. Um, I'm, I'm waiting for a, a, a Chinese company to ship uh, this chip, so I, I will know, I think in Sunday, if I paid in fact for the chips or if I paid for uh, some, some, some brick. Uh, um, what I can tell you is that even if uh, the chips will arrive, uh, I uh, finally will uh, end up in paying this chip around 40 euros each, where the market price is uh, the real market price for the A723 is around uh, 15 euros. Uh, so, I mean, uh, chip shortage is eating really very hard. On the other side, the E70, the E54, the E21, the E20, the other uh, microchip uh, Atmel uh, MCU that I used in the story of this uh, project, I always find it. It's not easy. You need to keep on checking site, but it, there is always a way uh, to find it. In this case, it's very hard. So uh, probably I will complete my custom board based on the E70 uh, because everything is ready. I just, I'm just designing the board. Uh, and, uh, uh, and I will simply, uh, uh, at, as soon as I will be able to do it, I will switch to the H2, uh, H723 
uh, um, with the display. So basically in the E70, I will simply not put the display. I will implement only the channel because at this point, there's no point uh, anymore in making experimentation to extend the UART capability of the E70. Uh, I think that that's all. Uh, thank you very much for your time and I'll see you soon in the next video. Ciao.